and welcome to another video. This video will be something special. It's not uh, how we read this uh, BCM. This BCM it comes from Golf 7. This is the number. Okay. I don't uh, make this video showing you how you can read this BCM because I cannot read it. This is the point. It doesn't matter how much money you expend, you will not be able to read all these units and you have nothing to do. In the past, I read many times this BCM from Gold 7, but you should know also depends of year of production, depends in which uh, year this car was produced and which type of uh, BCM have inside. Like for example, this one is secured one, you cannot read it. I managed to read another the BCM from Gold 7, but the board it was a little bit different. I will show you, I will put the picture because it's much easier to understand. I will uh, take this apart and I will show you how you can make the connection. I put also a picture on the screen and you will be able to see much better the connection. It's my own diagram. You cannot find diagram on this uh, model. As I said, this is it's different on the layout. The board, it was like that to be able to take this out. Let's let me to show you. Because I have a lot of beginners, you should cut this one. With the plastic, it is just cut it on these points. And then you'll be able to remove the board. Let's try to show you also the mask of this MCU. The mask is 1M03Y. You find it also in the programmer. I will show you later. Uh, is the MPC5607B. And this is the mask. Okay. As I said, you can find also a diagram on Xprog. But uh, it's, it is totally different. The connections is not like this one. The board is different. I will put pictures where I will show you the, the connection of this one. How this one it is. Like for example, we have the uh, connection, only two connections from this side of the board and another one there behind of the MCU. You have the points here. Reading points, you see the soldering here. And I said it will be interesting to make this video to show you which programmer I use it because most of the people who follow this channel they are beginners and maybe they are curious to see and also to know it doesn't matter if you have uh, expensive programmers you'll be able to read everything no we speak here only about original ones I don't take the clones I don't speak about clones because there's no way to read with clones if I don't manage to read with original ones it's no chance to read with clones I put this one on the side and I show you which programmer I use it first I try to manage with CG Pro, no chance. After that, I was going for Autel. I buy this programmer. I mine, I buy the Autel IM508 because of this one. I buy it with full adapters. I said I need because of this programmer. Okay, let's buy also for K programming, but I don't deal with Ks. Then actually, I don't need the programmer only because of this one. And I said, okay, it will be nice to have the XP400 Pro. It was a good price over there, a good deal, and I said, okay, I'll buy the programmer, but I don't need it. I tell you honest, I lose my money buying this one. If you have programmer like CG Pro or CG100, it's not necessary to have this one, believe me. I try also this one, also no chance. And the last one on the market to come is VVDI Prog, also no chance. This multi prog it doesn't help also you can you have the connections is very nice you have the diagrams have everything like in all of these programmers but no chance these have a different connections on the controller when you look on this mcu how is the connection with auto is totally different if you compare it with uh, cg company and multiprog and as i said i was not able to extract the data again i will show you the mcu it's opposite side please don't leave me a comment below and tell me hey, i read this one with xpro clone Fuck, I said, I repeat again, this is not the same board. This board, you are not able to read it, okay? Don't tell me you read this one. It's the same uh, controller, but you are not able to read this one, okay? I try it also with X-Pro clone for uh, those who are trying to tell me you can read with that one. I try it also with uh, program of Orange 5, no chance. And at this moment, it doesn't matter how much money you expend, you cannot read all of these units, okay? Then what is my advice? Why is the reason why I do this video? My advice it is buy only one. Make your research on the internet. Buy the one what you believe is, is the best for you. Don't expend money like uh, 
crazy people like me, for example, is buying this one, buying this one, buying this one. It's this, it's a clone of this one, of this one, of this one, or it's a copy, let's say, or opposite. What this one have inside, it also have this one inside. Okay? When we go on the EE Prom and Flash memories, they are almost the same, okay? Speaking only about this uh, type of readings, if you go to different things like uh, let's read the engine issues or let's repair the airbag, like for example in this case, or let's program the K, then of course functionality is different, but speaking about the MCU and EE Prom, again, they have same functionality. If this one is able to read, this one is also it can be able to read it. If this one doesn't read, you have chance like 80%. This one also it doesn't work. Then don't expend money if you are trying, for example, to clone uh, this one. You need to clone this BCM. And okay, I have the hotel and it doesn't work. Let's go to CG Pro. I go on the internet. I order this one. I pay 500 euro because it works. No, fuck, you are fucked. You expend the money. It doesn't work. To be able to program this one or to clone this one, let's say like that, is you are not able to clone it. You should use all this. You can do it with all this online. This is only one way to do it, okay, at this moment. And pay attention, this card is from 2012 till 2017. Then in 2012 till today, they are 12 years, almost 13 years, okay, because we are almost in 2025. And none of this programmer is able to read the secured uh, MCU produced 13 years or 14 years ago on these modules. Then on the newest one, like Golf 8, you have no chance, okay only to use uh, all this online. This is my answer for those who ask me how can I program this uh, BCM. I was asked how can we clone the uh, BCM from the Golf 7 and somebody there answered yes, you can use the Xprog. You can use the Xprog if you have luck, as I said, on the oldest one, on the oldest board, but not on this new with uh, different uh, pinout and different connection and di different position of these chips, okay? Because they are not stupid. They know you extract the data because you need for key programming and the company always try to improve. Also, this BCM, they are known to fail and when they will produce, they don't produce the same part number like for example here. They always send the upgrade and if you are able to read the BCM, the oldest uh, version, you can be sure the newest version is no chance, okay? Then I don't know if it's something to show you. As I said, I will put this picture with the connection of this board. It's my own diagram. I will put also the name everywhere because I don't want to have again my work in on internet. I spent time and hours to find the connection points. On this case, it was not so bad. I don't expend so much time, but I explained you many times how you can find your connections. Do you know something? Because I have, I do have so many uh, beginners. Let me to show you how I do, how I proceed, because I also so ask from where you have the diagram. First of all, you should know which type of MCU it is. If you know which one it is, you have, you need the multimeter. You put it on resistor mode, like here, on beeping is much easier, okay? This is the first step to have a multimeter. The second one is to go on the internet. You put on Google the MCU type. This one it is, let me to focus. Is the SC6671. You search for this type of uh, controller. You just write over there and you have space and you put the mask 1M03Y. And then it will show in the data sheet. Uh, look for the data sheet and you have the connection. After that, when you have the connection, let's say it will show you. I'll put also a picture on the screen. I don't want to move the phone from the position to record a, a desktop or I don't know to in the same time to make desktop recording because it takes me too long time to on this editing and I don't want to expend so much time editing the videos okay then depends on which programmer you are using you have also the diagrams you can find it in your programmer but you don't have it maybe you don't have the connections and you have the possibility to read that chip then let's say we we'll take a uh, multiprog, okay? I will put a picture on the screen with the multipro connection. And it is also much easier for you if you know which type of the MCU you have, or which type of the controller. Let's say this is the pin number one over here, okay? It's located. You should locate the position of the chip. You see this dot here. You start to the number one. 
give me one second. According to the diagram, you have the power supply on pin 27. Pin 27 is uh, VDD, okay? You search for that one, and on the 29, we have the reset pin. If you pay attention, here I will have the power supply. Then on, over here, I have the reset pin. It's just putting one probe over here, okay? Let's put it here because it's much easier for me. Put one, one probe there. I try to make it zoom if it's possible. We take the power supply. Let's say this one. We have the probe there. And over here we have the beeping. You look if according to the diagram. Let me to take the zoom out. You look if the pin number 27 is here. As I said, and you search for the power supply you put there, and if it beeps, and you'll be sure that this is the connection. The layout on the board, it will show you also. I do have connections from this side of the controller, and if you follow the tracks on the board, it goes here. And then after that, you cannot make the soldering here because the point they are too small, look. But when you have these holes on the board, it means it goes to another side of the board, and I was able to find the trucks are going here. We just put one probe to this side and also on the resistor mode, put the probe to another side on the back of the board. And if it will beep, you know for sure, then this is the point who go out of the board. It's much easier if you use this type of probes. It's very small. Okay. You can use it much easier to find your um, soldering points. This is my way how I do the, the diagram. This is how I find the diagram making myself. I don't need to have the diagrams, but making easier job for you, as I said, I'll put on the screen. And uh, I hope uh, now you don't ask me from where I got the diagrams. You can do it yourself. You just need the data sheet. And this is the best tool. And you can make your own diagram, but you should expand your time. Don't ask me how can I solder the, the wires on different board because I don't expand the time for you searching on that board. You can do it for yourself. You can expand one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, depends on you. Or you can make the soldering here. Or you can desolder the controller, but it's you should be also able to put it back. You should not forget on the back of the board you have also a lot of components. And if you damage the board, bye bye. Depends on you which approach you want to take when you repair these kind of boards, okay? I do it in different styles. If I can solder far from the controller, I will do it. If not, I will solder here. You need the microscope. Or in the less case, if, if the readings doesn't go and I have no readings, I take this one out. And I try to read it on adapters. But on this case, this one, it is locked. It's also, if I need adapter for reading this controller, it is not possible okay before to close the video the conclusion of this one it is don't expend so much money buying all these programmers reading only one type of the mcu because on the end you will be disappointed okay just buy one of them search which one is uh, better for you which one can provide better service for you and go for that one don't buy of them okay on this video it was also showing you these programmers can fail it doesn't matter how much will cost take this one 850 euro or uh, take every of this one is close to 500 euro i will put also a link in the description below from where you can buy these programmers if you want it you are not forced to buy it you can buy from everywhere but because you're asking me which seller is uh, to trust it I will put link on the description below because I buy from different sellers. Again, I repeat, I'm not paid. You buy if you want to buy it. If not, it's also good. I hope you understand something. I hope now you know how you should make your connections. If you need a, a video dedicated for this uh, type of connections and how you can find the soldering point, more details about these things, let me to know and I will make a special video only for this uh, type of connection how you should make your own diagrams okay we close here i hope you understand something and i hope the video it was useful for you i will tell you thank you for watching and see us in the next video bye bye